Hey guys, today I want to talk about five things I have learned traveling across the USA. This is my third state, North Carolina. Uh, before that was New York City and the various different boroughs of New York City. And uh, yeah, there's a lot I could say. I could probably spend hours on this, but number one, I think slow paced travel uncovers things you would have missed versus fast paced travel. So basically, I'm taking my time, like every city's at least a month, if not more. And uh, because of that, I've been able to uncover more of the gems of an area. Now, most people who road trip, they usually will go one day a city or one week a city. And you are just getting a sample taste of it. But now I get to see like the museums that I didn't hear about upon initial research and initial questions with the locals. Uh, number two, I think the second thing is, uh, there are cons to uh, minimalist travel. Uh, some people claim that minimalism and just travel is like the dream, you know, because you see it on Instagram. But there are cons, you know, I, I can't take my rice cooker and air fryer and full set of kitchen knives and pots and pans and sure I guess if you're rich enough you can just buy an Airbnb with a fully stocked kitchen but you know even like some places they don't have that they have limited kitchen supplies or none at all and especially in New York City where everything's more expensive you, you can't expect that even if you're willing to pay more um, so so that's another part of it uh, that's definitely a little bit of a hassle and then I, I when you're always moving, you can't form recurring strong social bonds and friendships. Um, but uh, I think that brings us to number three. I think it is a enriching, amazing experience. Probably might create some of the best memories of my life. Although there are some drawbacks, I do think that if you have an open heart and you're friendly and you meet friendly people, you can make friends everywhere your home is wherever you go and in that way you know i think uh you know back back when i was not traveling it's always the same people more or less sure there might be new people that float in as acquaintances once every now and then but you're you're meeting a lot more new people from different backgrounds and because of that you gain so much experience into their cultures their lives immigrants or just people from the south or wherever and that's so enriching and you just make many different types of friendships you learn from people who have only lived in this state and you, you learn from their experience and how they live and so that's different than just you know seeing the same people day in and day out uh number four uh this is how you make it so you know you i have to come up with the initiative and make the choices of where I want to go in the day. If I choose to stay home all day, that's my experience. But if I choose to go to this museum because I like museums, that's my experience. Some people may prefer going to bars. Some people might prefer something else. But um, there's different flavors and tastes and you have to make what you will of the city. I think I try and get a holistic thing. So I do a lot of different things, classes, fitness classes, dance classes, and so forth. Um, but yeah, your interpretation of the place may depend on your itinerary. And if you're too shy to go out, it's going to have a kind of narrow view of things. And then number five, um, it can be scary. It can be fun. It can be exciting, enriching, exhilarating, all those things. But I feel like I've learned that uh, when I live my personal legend, there's there's more than meets the eye that you can do. Like I made this happen and that's very exciting, scary as well. Uh, there's going to be challenges. Uh, but when you live that personal legend and you believe you can shape your life more than you think, you can make things like this happen. I don't have some uh, wealthy bank account. I have a normal job and I pitched my boss and surprisingly he said yes. 
and most people don't take that step because they don't even think it's possible. They aren't, or I've met many people like this, they could do it. Their boss would let them, but their own internal fears hold them back because it's so uncomfortable. And I, I even met this uh, elder lady during a hiking class the other day, and that was her situation. And uh, I was trying to help her coach her through it a bit and say like, you know, what can you do? Maybe it's just going to a local nearby city and taste, trying that out. Cause she was physically capable of it. It was her dream, but she herself was internally scared of leaving her hometown. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.